Hi, in this video, I will discuss to you the basic concepts of the stack and flow diagrams. We knew already that the basic elements of system dynamics model are the feedbacks, the stack and flow relationships, and the time delays between elements. The basic building blocks of system dynamic models are the stocks and the flows. Okay. Jay Forrester, the father of um, system dynamics, originally referred to them as the levels for stocks and the rates for flows. The stack and flow diagram concepts is, concept is this. Okay. It's like a bathtub. The level of water in this bathtub is regulated by the rate of water okay, through this faucet, which serves as our inflow. And it is also regulated by the rate of water coming out from our drain. Stocks are entities that can be accumulated or be depleted over time. And only the flows, the inflow or the outflow, can either increase or decrease our stocks. And so when you do system dynamics modeling, it is very important for you to identify what are those stocks, what are the inflows and outflows of your system. You should take note of that, okay? Now, what's the difference of a causal loop diagram to stack and flow diagrams? Well, both of these tools is very essential to system dynamic modeling. The first step in modeling is to do this causal loop diagram, okay? You must first draw a simple map, okay, of your system, which illustrates what are those components of your system and determining what are the feedback loops. May it be reinforcing or a balancing loop. After that, you will transform that one into a stack and flow diagram, okay? And in this stack and flow diagram, you can add more variables to your elements in which is not represented here. The SFD diagram is a more concise um, tool okay? because here you can measure, okay? this should be measurable because here you can combine those um, elements or those variables okay? that may affect your stocks, your, that may affect the increase or decrease of your stocks, okay? This CLD should be measured um, qualitatively or should be drawn qualitatively. You can use nouns or noun phrases for having your elements. And here in your quantitative representation in SFD, you should be careful in inputting the units of your var variables because here we will integrate and differentiate those inflows and outflows that affects the um, increase and decrease of our stock, okay? So both are very valuable tools in system dynamics. First, you need to start in a CLD, then transform that one into a more concise SFD. Now, how do we transform CLD to SFD? From this causal loop diagram, this student population is our accumulation of student enrollment. Our stock here would be student population. Now, what um, influence the student population, okay, what makes our student population increase and decrease first is our student enrollment as our inflow. Students enrolled is influenced by our enrollment rate. If, they, if this will increase, Okay, if enrollment rate will increase, so then enrolled will also increase, which leads to increase in student population. Now, the student population will feed back to students' enrollment, students enrolled, okay, because if more students are um, enrolled, more student population there is, then more students will be enrolling in the future, in the next year, in the next semester. And then, um, from this student population, there will be student graduation. This student graduation, student graduated, is influenced by our graduation rate. If graduation rate will increase, students graduated will also increase. 
increase which leads which leads to decrease in our student population okay so this is how a simple sfd is drawn for our cl this is now the sfd notation okay we have now um symbols added to our uh, models we have the valve with which regulates the flow the rectangle which represents our stock this hour which represents our flow and this cloud which represents our sink or source or our external stocks now the stocks here okay is accumulated over time by inflows and depleted by our outflows so stocks can only be changed via flows okay. through sfd okay we could we could um, simulate our system okay we could um forecast simulate in the future what will happen to our student population if student enrollment okay enrollment rate or graduation rate will also increase or decrease okay the flow is this okay we have these inflows it could be an inflow or an outflow okay and it changes our stocks over time usually we can clearly distinguish inflows by adding to our stock and the outflows are those that are subtracting for our stocks then we have this flow rate okay. this flow rate it's always expressed for some unit of time say for example in our bathtub okay the water flowing in and flowing out will be measured in liters per minute, okay? Liters per hour, okay? And if you do system dynamics modeling, you should understand what are those um, elements, okay? What are those variables in your system that you can integrate and differentiate, okay? This cloud, represents either the source of the flow when the flow is originated from outside of the model or the sink of the flow when the flow sinks. Okay, so these are the clouds. Now we have the links. Okay, link is used to define a dependency between elements of a stock and a flow diagram. We can see it is represented by these blue arrows. Okay. This defines how dependent is this student enrollment enrollment rate and um student enrollment to student population as well as the others the modeling process of systems dynamics is this okay first you start with a physical a physical model or the physical system what is the observed um observable event then you will translate that one into a causal loop diagram then from a causal loop diagram, you will have a basic SFD model, okay? Then you will refine that one into a more concise SFD where you can measure the elements and the variables quantitatively, okay? Now in systems dynamics modeling through SFD, we can use Stella software from High Performance Systems Incorporated in which on my next video, I'll do a simple tutorial on making a simple um, stack and flow diagram using the software, okay? And you can read more from these references. I hope you understand the SFD concept, okay? Thank you so much for being with me. Bye.